What a great crowd we have here uh, to open up this very important pedestrian bicycle bridge attachment that connects uh, the Katy Trail into Jefferson City as well as providing an opportunity for the folks living on both sides of the river to come out and safely view and enjoy the river. The existing bridge today here is very busy. There's nearly 50,000 vehicles that cross this river every single day to get in and out of Jefferson City. In the past, pedestrians and bicyclists had to share the lanes of the roadway with the vehicle traffic, but that's not gonna be the case any longer as we have now this separate attachment on the downstream side of the river that will provide a safe access going back and forth. It'll be a great connection and something that people will be able to use for many years to come. While we could use enhancement funds uh, for 80% of the project, we had to come up with local match and that would not have been possible to ever build this without those local sponsors. And I certainly want to say thanks to them today. I know many people will say this and you'll hear this theme, but a lot of times we talk about in uh, central Missouri, the quality of life. And I know uh, various groups, including the chamber, have worked very hard on trying to figure out what does that mean. And I think what you're going to see today and experience over the next many, many years with your families is this is one of those things that's unmeasurable, hard to describe, but just adds an incredible, uh, an incredible plus to our quality of life here in central Missouri. My kids have already told me Sunday we're going across the bridge, Dad, so I've got bike tires to fix all weekend, and then we'll be on the bridge. Like I mentioned, I like to ride my bike, so I can tell you I'm extremely excited to have this new pathway as a means to make it from one side of the river to the other. This will allow cyclists and pedestrians to make the trek from Jeff City to the Katy Trail without having to use a car or truck and with no fear of being put in danger because of the heavy traffic flow on the bridge. To get here from either end of the trail, you ride or, or walk through uh, dozens of other of communities, Rocheport, Augusta, places that if the railroad had, had, had left them, they would have dried up. But instead, the Katy Trail came to them and now they've thrived and they're Katy Trail towns. Today, uh, Jefferson City becomes a Katy Trail town. It's a resource that everyone can use, whether you're training for a marathon or whether you have training wheels on your bicycle. So we're excited about that opportunity as well.